think they expected you to come this way. <gasps> it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Complex Expedition. Uh, the sequel to The Complex uh, that I played not that long ago on the channel. It's a free game, really, really cool game. Uh, having to do with the back rooms regarding the back room. So this game, the the complex, is my most successful video on, on my channel so far. Uh, scared me. I'm really uh, really excited to to get back into it. Uh, I, I tend to ramble on too much at the beginning of these videos, so I'm gonna jump right in. If you're new here, welcome. And uh, you know why not hit the subscribe button? Show me some uh, show me some love if you'd like. That is. Yes, let's create a new tape. Man, I'm excited for this. The first one was so effective at scares that I... June 24th, 1988, documented by Newman J. Miller. Two, one, two, mic check. This is Newman. Holy shit, there's already way oh, more to this one. David, mic check. This is being documented by Newman Joseph Miller on June 24th, 19. What the fuck? Holy shit, it looks so good. Is this still just one person? Holy shit. This one's like a little earlier than the first one, right? Am I in? Holy shit, I'm in. It looks so good. It looks so fucking real. It's kind of weird. Um, wow. Yeah, the first one was like 1990. This is what, 88, 87? <clears throat> Do they have any idea what's beyond the gap? Or am I just going in blind? No, I don't think so. Wow. They haven't gone through yet, so... Uh, hang on, hang on. First one. What the hell? I don't think there's any subtitles. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, the options menu is kind of weird. Just the dialogue between them, it's so natural, the way it's happening. It's, oh wait, am I going backwards? Yeah. It looks so cool though, holy shit. The suits and everything, now this... I know that it's kind of... Their version is loosely based kind of on the backrooms uh, stuff, but this reminds me of Kane Pixels. Uh, like the hazmat suits and everything, but like... It looks like... The little movement there was a little, a little janky, kind of. But holy shit, it looks like you. Also, uh, don't go too far past the cross stage there. You don't want you to get lost accidentally. Too far yeah, past. I don't think I'll get lost. To be honest. Still, we'll have to wait for further instructions to move. So just describe your surroundings whenever you see something new or different. Yeah, I know. Anyhow. As then it looks like, you know, playing a Kane Pixels video, basically. That's, it looks really good. Holy shit. Man. Welcome back. We're back in this... We're back in... We're back in this hill. I know there's something else in here with me now. You know what I mean? I know there's more than just... Random rooms and doors... You know, like the. Whoa. I, I lost control of that for a second. Okay, just, we're in. just a cutscene. Hello! Alright, you ready? Alright, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm the one that's gotta bear crawl my way through the. Hi! Hey, fellas. Copy that. <laughs> Wait, there is no way in hell I'd be doing this. I don't give a shit. Couldn't pay me enough to go into the fucking upside down, basically. And these guys, just like, yeah, hey, uh, just let us know what you see. We're just going to send you. Why not send them in pairs? Get some kind of tether. You know. Get a tether. That way you can... That only goes... So far, it's just a room. Yeah, bro, I just got in here. Holy shit! Give me some time. 
some of the dialogue is funny to me because it's, it just sounds like a <clears throat> sounds like a dude I used to know, <laughs> like just like a friend. It's an unusual hole. It's wallpapered on all sides. Just like uh, I don't think I'll get lost to be it's honest. It's also like a indoor house light. Uh, An indoor house light, yeah. Guys. Guys. Dude, turn around and run. You f Holy shit. <laughs> the complex. Man, I love this shit though. Like goddamn, I already fell through once. <clears throat> or found the, the seam in the world that, that allows you to go through. Walk into the back rooms, fall oh hello. Fall fall through the damn <laughs> clip through the He's saying guys. Well, might as well pick up the camera and start documenting your documenting your uh, your a expedition. Well can't see where I fell through, but holy shit. Alright, well, we're right back in it. And now that I know that there's extra shit waiting for me in this game. Oh my goodness, no, that gets way too dark. Uh, oh, that's just my footsteps. Shake. Uh, camera shakes pretty fucking hardcore. Oh god. Yeah, now that I know that there's extra shit waiting for me in this world, <clears throat> I'm a little bit, um, a little bit more aware of my surroundings, I guess. I will say, the first one was free. Expedition is like nine ninety nine, which isn't bad, you know, nine ninety nine, especially for these. Games. First of all, the first one was very good. I don't know how difficult it is to put a game like this together. But, you know, I'd imagine just programming games in general probably isn't the most easy uh, task. I have no idea what it takes. I have zero idea. I've looked in... Uh, into coding like one time and, and my brain just broke so I was like yeah no I'm I'm good I'll leave that up to these these dudes um, but you know for a game that ran as well as it did the expedition and had those effective little scares for free I mean not the expedition the complex that's that's really cool and 999 for this one is you know, it's just still, they deserve it, though. They deserve to make money off of their, they deserve to make money off of their, uh, off, off of their game, so. I'd say support them if you can, you know, it's not, it's not a big ask. Okay, I see a door, so I'll just go towards the door. I don't know, I know you couldn't open doors in the, oh god, oh god in the complex, let's see, the same, oh shit, F to open, apparently, damn, you can actually open doors in this one and go in, oh my goodness, whew, <laughs> I don't have night vision or anything either, I know that this game is like, in early access, but I don't know what that entails, does it just mean that they're going to continuously add on to it? I'll have to read the early access description. My god, that's dark. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in this room for me, really. That's fine. At least they got, uh, looks like working smoke detectors. Are there more doors here? Oh, shit. My heart kind of sank a little bit. What the fuck? Dude, you can interact with the lights and everything. Holy shit. Wow, no wonder it's fucking... Man, they... What else can you interact with? Can I, like, pick up boxes and stuff? No. What the fuck is this thing? 
Oh shit! Space is a fl as a flashlight. I'm sitting here trying to jump and shit. You've got a fucking flashlight now too. I should have known this guy was going to be better equipped to handle this stuff. That thing looks familiar. What the fuck is that? God. Oh. Oh. Uh, actually, let's go. Yeah, no wonder it's it's got a um, it's got a little bit more to it than the uh, than the previous one. I I never would have known. They don't like really tell you anything. It's just like I was pressing buttons trying to jump. Turned on a flashlight. Hang on, I gotta check my audio. Alright, I really gotta crank the audio on my end. It's kinda quiet. <clears throat> but I'm hearing stuff. Jesus. That, like... So already being able to open doors, that adds, like, an, a, a whole new layer to this shit. I'm starting to hear some ambient noises here. Hello? Whoa, that's just straight up abyss. I can't see a damn thing in there. But I hear something and I don't like what I'm hearing. Man, I'm super excited to be playing this, though. I was really impressed with the first one. It's so good. And now, being able to see in the darkness and open doors. I don't, like I said, I don't know how many do doors there are to interact with in this game. I have no idea how it's even built, you know? Like, hey, it's the boob lights. I see these lights in a lot of places. I always call it a boob light. It just looks like a big booby. Alright, well. <laughs> going down. I guess we'll go down. Hey, there's some triangles on the wall. I mean, I guess that's... Some chairs. Interesting. Anything up there? No? Yeah, I was. what I was saying is I guess I... I, I Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's cool, man. The way it focuses and stuff. Holy shit. These dudes put in some work. I was saying, I, I don't know why I expected this guy to not be better equipped than the previous individual that just kind of fell in. Like the chair, it's nice. I would redo it. Reupholster it. Dye it black. Mm. Let's see. Hello. Dude, this just comes out. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> this is not... I will say these games aren't good for my brain because I... I um... There's so there are all these directions to go. I is this like a hotel? It is. Ooh, coffee. I'm having some coffee right now. Done, Omatic. Like that. Can't use bun, so they'll just call it done. That classic coffee maker. Look. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh boy. There's potential for... Okay, I'm, i got to check these places out. I'm sorry. No, good. Okay, dead end. Alright, cool. So there's a door down here as well. Let's check the door out. Since now they give you the capability of opening them. That's always cool. Knock, knock. 
You even see his little hand and stuff. It's not like just a floating hit, you know. That's cool. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god damn it. This dude can't climb upstairs quickly either. Hello. I uh I seem to have clipped through the clipped through the world that I clipped through once already. Okay, hang on. Hang on. This is entirely <laughs> So, I don't like I said, I don't know how this one's built. I don't know if you go into, you know, these rooms that with doors and uh, there's just random areas that you know lead to different areas if they all just kind of converge and lead to the same place you know uh, I have no idea but uh, I feel like I wanna okay so this is just a dead end okay I'll be back Shopping cart. We're back in the supermarket. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so fucking dark. Oh man. What could you possibly fucking... Oh Jesus. Say something like this did exist. It's like, what could you possibly be sending these dudes in here for? Ugh, man. So now I'm torn. Upstairs or through the pink door, or continue this way. Pink door this way. Pink door this way. Let's see. I don't have a coin. I need to flip something. I need to. I need to flip something. I need to make a decision. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I feel like. We can go through doors now. This might be progress. I feel like we can go through doors now. Let's go through the door, since we can actually open them this time. It's like... That back there is like going into someone's fucking... Or going into like an... You know, a commercial area. This is like in someone's fucking house. Uh, see, I went left a lot during my first jaunt into the uh, to the back rooms. Let's check out the right. Oh my goodness. Long hallways. That's scary. Man, this place is... This area is fucking massive. I, I feel... Glad there's not a, uh... Wait a second. Glad there's not a battery on this... <laughs> this fucking flashlight. This is the thing that starts to fuck with me a little bit. Because I'm like... I've been here before, right? What would be, uh... Oh, shit. What would be your first move, having dropped into this world? Or being an employee, even of... What was it? Uh, uh another door. <clears throat> Interesting, I'm gonna have to... Red Cross clothing. So now I'm like in another... Commercial area. I'm gonna have to do more videos on this game if there's more to it. If these directions don't just converge into one spot. Let's go ahead and open this door. <clears throat> because there's there's places I wanna go for the sake of exploration and there's also Whoa. Well that nice. Nice sofa. Looks comfy. 
At least there's no lack of, you know, comfortable furniture and stuff like that. And uh, nice sky murals on the ceiling. But, yeah, there's, there's places I want to go, and then that... Oh, God, more of these. Nice and cool right here, though. For the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, there's places I want to go for the sake of exploration, and then there's... Things... You know, once I start down a path, I get a little too far gone. It's like, I can't turn back constantly and keep running back and forth. It'll take me forever. So I'd like to know... Oh! I just made a big fucking circle. Okay, well... That kind of gives me an answer to, to, to some things. Hello, random chair. Beep. What's the beeping about? Just a random chair and a big ass room. Man, at this point, it's like. You've lost comms, man. What are you supposed to do? I wonder if there's ever going to be like any kind of resolution to this universe, you know? People just going to keep dropping in and disappearing. I don't know. The fluorescent light. Hum. That was the first hum of fluorescent light that I've heard. Oh, man. Zero point three three two. What the hell does that mean? All right. What is this? It's an elevator. I said the same thing whenever I first got out of one. you know in this place oh man in another dark corridor yeah other is it a washing machine it is it's funny how <clears throat> Hello. All prepare for major weather. Yeah, it's funny how something as mundane as a washing machine can be so unsettling in this place. You just happen to go down an elevator and there's a washing machine. But see, I think like the Hello. It's just a table, a couch. Oh, damn, I can, like, prone. I didn't realize. Damn. Uh, so there's going to be something like extra tight spaces to crawl through. All right, let me, uh, let's see. Well, can I finish a thought? I'm sorry, my brain is... I, I'm pretty sure it's... Ah. Nice. Um... Yeah, I, I, I think, like, some of those mundane placements of things are kind of, like, showing you <clears throat> progress. This is kind of the way you're supposed to be going, maybe. You know, like, you're going the right way. Just so you're not completely running around too aimlessly, but that's part of the fun, right? wandering around aimlessly. I don't know what the periodic little beeps are, either. Men's room. Well, 
<clears throat> At least they're equipped with uh, some bathrooms. In the back rooms. The bathrooms. Just in case. I don't know if they have running water, you know what I mean? But sometimes when you gotta. There, there's, there's not even a toilet in here. <laughs> Never mind. You're just gonna have to piss on the floor, my dude. And But first, you're gonna have to get out of that jumpsuit. And I'd imagine that's probably a, a lot of work. And you obviously have. Oh my god. You. Why did the audio change right there? It like. You obviously have these on for specific reasons. Uh, okay. And I feel like I go forwards and backwards a lot. I, I apologize. Uh, so this is the room we left, right? No? It's a different room. I feel like, it, yeah, okay, so it will just kind of loop you around eventually. It's just cool to kind of go through those areas that are. Oh, okay, so one more. There we go. Damn, so. Man, now you gotta prone and go to sp spots. Another nice couch. Lovely leather couch. I bet you it's comfortable. I've sat on couches like that before. Big puffy ones. Nothing. Dead end. Okay. Alright, well, dead end. I see another door. I'm assuming all this is dead end, so. I, I, I always peek around the corners and shit, like I can actually see something. Is that just gonna lead into a wall? It is. Can I get around the banister? Is there anything over here? God. I don't know why this is so creepy because it wasn't really anything you know even in the first game it wasn't anything all that menacing it was just a damn shadow I guess it's just the idea behind it you know because you go for what is it buzzing you go for pretty long period oh god damn it I, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. You go you go for pretty long periods of time with nothing happening. You know, so it's like the moment something does happen and you realize, hey, I'm not alone here anymore. Hey, more of those fold out tables. I guess that's kind of plays on the psychological part of it. Because <clears throat> like yeah, it's not particularly menacing. It's not like you know Oh. Nice. Two doors. Just a nice closet area. What? That scared the shit out of me. I thought someone was talking to me. God. Uh, that's disturbing. It's not a disturbing song. Not creepy at all. I can't turn the damn radio off. Oh my god. I have no idea. 
<sighs> yeah, I don't know what's in store for me, man. Nice vase. Um, I noticed too that, like, you know, there's decorations and stuff like that from, oop, from different, uh, different times as well. Like, some of the stuff is, like, this isn't like, Some of the stuff kind of looks ahead of its time, you know, like says it looks at in the 90s, the 80s, and things like that. It's like there's stuff just scattered about from all different kind of time. There's the audio thing again. It like clicks and. gets a little clearer for a sec. Yeah, I think these are like little cues in the environment that tell you that you're kind of going. Uh, excuse me, did I open that door? Am I? Okay, okay, I'm back here. Holy shit. That scared me for a second. I'm back where the damn bathroom is. Shit. Okay, um, well, let's slide under here. It's just really looped me around. Whoa. Open fridge. Okay, someone tried to get a cold pop. Out of there or what? Oh fuck. I definitely haven't been that way because I didn't see the fridge before. <laughs> <clears throat> Getting back into this old kind of wallpaper. Hmm. I don't want to end up right back where I fucking came from either. I'm so lost. Hello? Can I ask directions? Has anybody got directions? How many times have they been down here they didn't anticipate fucking falling through again? Seems like they've known about this place. This is like, yeah, this is a, just a few years before the first game. Mag Wave or whatever corporation. I don't know. Shit. Gotta talk a lot. Keeps me from uh keeps me from being so nervous. So uneasy. Especially before I finished my coffee. Cause I'm old and I need it. I need it to keep me uh on my toes. I swear the way like stuff renders in whenever you kind of peek around a corner, there's little weird shadow artifacts fucks with me a little bit. Hello. Assuming that's a dead end. 
It's a menacing corridor, though. Some more chairs. I've got the stamina of a fucking racehorse, though, because I haven't slowed down, and I'm good. Thank you for shopping with us. Merry Christmas. Please return to our baskets here. I like the way that Merry Christmas is written. All right. I'm going to get on the, on your belly, my dude. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Now I'm crawling through fucking AC vents. <coughs> Did I hear? Might be just the way the suit kind of squeaked. I swear it sounded like a dog barking for a second. <sighs> Man. <clears throat> I like how in these games... Whenever you're squeezed into a tight space like this, you could just turn around at the drop of a head. You're literally just a camera. <laughs> you're just a camera. Just a floating head. Because once you're in a spot like this, there is no turning around. you got to either back out or just keep going forward. Ooh. It kind of dropped me into a cutscene. Whoa! A sprightly fella. So that one area, like whenever I was trying to shine the light up into the ceiling, that was from a... That was a drop from an air duct. I wonder if I missed one. I don't know, but... Well, now we're in a... Completely new area. This place looks kind of cool, though. I don't really want to sprint through here. I just kind of want to... Ah, fuck it. Just the shake is a little disorienting sometimes, and I, I don't want to miss any sounds or anything like that. Ooh, escalators. It's like a damn subway station, almost. So, so interesting. Up we go, slowly but surely. Safety first, you know. This place is falling apart. Who maintains these places? Though? The floors are super, super shiny. Trash cans are empty. Oh boy. That uh, is a straight up. Is that a fucking subway car? Hello, team. You guys want to drop me a rope or something down here? I, uh. That would be super. It is. New York City subway. Queens, huh? Holy shit. What the fuck, man? Oh, God. Dude, this shit is... Turning into, uh... Oh, fuck. We got a working fucking subway train here, huh? Oh, and we're off. I didn't even get to go to the other side. Any passengers? Oh, dude. You're just getting further and further away from your team now. This would be fucking suck. You're like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> My god. This is like fucking expect uh, Neo to come running, uh, running down the hall, and then 
you know, running back and forth. And the train man being down here. Down here, I'm God. <laughs> I make the rules. I didn't like that sound. All right. Let's see. On we go. You think it's, you know, you, you know that like it, this person would know to kind of uh there's no point. <laughs> there's no point in continuing on, although you know who oh, finding things like a you know a random subway train and a random subway station that's the fuck it's apparently under New York where's that music coming from that's menacing as shit because it's kind of distorted oh man Okay, and that's the hallway. I, I, I think that's all fucking, uh, fucking weird looking. Jesus, it's fucking dark. Oof, hang on. The music's just gone. What the fuck? Well, let's go towards the, uh... Funhouse Hall with the blinking light. Seems like a good idea. Like I said, I... I don't know how enjoyable this kind of shit is to watch, you know what I mean? But... Whenever something does happen, I'm... It's cool. But, I mean, people... Damn. These are old stoves. People really enjoy the back room. Oh, God. The back rooms. In general. But you can see why. I just, you know, I never know how these games kind of translate because there's not a lot of... <sighs> Shit. I saw that. Yeah, there's not... <laughs> I was just saying, there's not a whole lot of stuff. Not a whole lot of in-your-face. I heard the fucking balls rolling again. You done? Not a whole lot of in-your-face stuff going on, but Jesus, whenever stuff like that happens, it's... Not fun. Hang on. Oh boy. And now we're on. Is that. Oh. Oh <laughs> shit. That's cool. It's fucked up, but it's cool. Holy shit. You go around the fuck. Oh my god. Go around the fucking corner, around the window, and... That fucking thing is standing on the other side of it. Holy shit. Hello? I hear this weird, like, audio thing periodically as well. It's like, it amplifies for a split second. 
not those weird ass howling noises, whatever the hell it is, but I don't know if it's even going to translate whenever I edit it. Hi, pal. Going to be there whenever I come back around here. He's fucking gone. Holy shit. Damn, that's cool. That is fucking scary, but god damn. All right, where I am, uh, where am I, ma'am, ma'am? I'm stuttering. <laughs> Oof. Where you got me now? Shit. I'm trying not to miss things. Because I don't know if there's things that I missed in the first one, you know, by going specific directions and not checking, like, everything that I could. Which I'll cut out a lot of this stuff, you know, a lot of this wandering around, which is fine, but... God. Oof. I've what the hell am I looking at here? <gasps> oh shit, I could fall. sure if they just didn't expect me to go this way or anyone to kind of go this way because it, holy shit you're able to just straight up fall off the fucking world that's nuts holy shit Dude, this sucks. It's like all the fucking... Worlds of the back rooms are just kind of compartmentalized into this fucking... Oh, shit. Damn. I don't know if this is like, you know, I mean, it, it fits perfectly well into the fucking universe because, because of just what the back rooms is, but I don't know if, uh, if I was supposed to come back here. I mean, clearly not because it's a dead end, but, oh, yeah, through here. wonder if he'll show up again. Yeah. He sure does. You're the one playing with the balls back here. <laughs> Should leave my balls alone, buddy. Fuck. If I'd have came this way first, I don't know. Like, oh shit. So, I don't know, I think just walking through it and then fucking... Ooh. It tripped out there for a second. Yeah, I don't think they expected you to come this way. <gasps> Ooh, you fucking... <laughs> oh, fuck. I felt a chill run through my body. I did not expect that this time. What the hell, man? That wasn't there last time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was it, Did I even look behind me whenever I came through here? Did I just go through to the balls? I could swear. I'm going to have to look back because I don't think I saw this before. That would have been way more creepy, I think. To see that, hear the balls rustle on the floor, they go around the corner and see him peeking through the fucking window at you. Ugh. I don't know, but oh god damn. You'd think after fucking After a few uh 
horror games that things would is that echoing sound again things wouldn't be scary anymore but maybe I'm just a just a pussy <laughs> I mean that's a that is a possibility because these games still scare me I can probably be playing one of the worst horror games you've ever fucking seen and still get scared by something in it what can I say ugh yeah, that made my stomach churn almost that scared me Okay. Found an elevator. Let's hop on. Oh boy. Cafeteria slash reception. Nice music. You gonna ring? Ring ring? Oh goodness. No parking. Street sweeping. This is so fucking trippy. Well, when I had to reload, I looked at the news part and they said that they, uh, working on adding co-op to this game which is interesting it said you know bear with them basically because it is just one solo developer which that is impressive I'm I'm oh this is the shining just like the last fucking place this one's more like the shining than it than anything but it makes me wonder how much is going to change because this is like this one's in early access makes me wonder how much they're just going to continuously add on to it I'll have to keep revisiting it you know after some updates and stuff see there's like new areas and whatnot. god damn holy god let's see plenty of doors to check Uh, I can't handle this. My fucking ADD man is, is is screaming at me. Ugh. All right, let's just continue down the hall for now. Let's see. What's on this side? Ooh, it's an actual room. Hello? Buddy isn't going to be on the other side peeking at me, huh? Yeah, some of the furniture looks dated as hell. The sinks, but no toilets. I'm just going to have to climb up there and I'll let her rip, my dude. So creepy. Like, that's an old looking bed and dresser, or side table. Can I close this? Can I close them? You can't close them. I don't like leaving doors open either. It's my thing. I gotta turn around and close it immediately. Aha, uh -huh, another room. Nice. Can't see anything in these corridors. Oh shit. Well, we just got a big dead end. Huh? It's like the back rooms are like one big reverse room of requirement. There's absolutely nothing that you need in here, but then there are kind of some things that you might need. You know, like beds and sinks and washing machines. 
I would just lay down and take a nap. You know? Nice comfy beds, couches, things like that. Why not just take a load off, man? You're not getting anywhere anytime soon. Might as well just kick back and take a nap. Throw your feet up. Relax a little bit. You're just lost in the back rooms for eternity. Man. Yeah. Those little scares, man. I. Uh, entrance North 2. Well, at least I kind of have a vague idea of direction. Which I don't know if. Please pay here. I don't know if direction in the back rooms is exactly a thing. Nothing. Pristine. Yeah, a lot of stuff is in pristine condition in this in this place. <gasps> Did I see something? Fuck. I'm losing my fucking mind. Oh, I need to watch. I swear I thought I saw something. Hello? Oh. More boob lights. Only some are illuminated, and the others, not so much. We're just running a marathon. Hey. <laughs> expect to turn around and see fucking... See our, uh, our friend. Oh, goddamn. I already found another elevator. I feel like I'm missing shit. Well, it's a nice room. I like it. You got a garden hose. I wonder if they've got plumbing, you know, run into it. There you go, you know, just tie a garden hose around your waist. Even something as simple as that. What would happen if you fell through with a, you know, with a tether just kind of wrapped around you? Would it just cut off where you clip through? Or would it fucking... 5, 318? Or would it just be dangling in the roof? <clears throat> Alright. Well, we made it back to the elevator. Let's hop on. Bye-bye. Drip, drip. Oh, boy. Hey, this looks familiar. Swimming pool's closed, huh? I heard the drip. Ah, thanks for the lamp placement. Come on, get in your belly. Yeah, I think it's just the suit rubbing up against the floor or something whenever you prone out, but I swear it sounds like a dog. <laughs> I've been here before. Not, not very long ago. More music. Is it the Ave Maria again? Jeez. I gotta go to this little fucking hole in the wall. Just to see. You know me. You know how I'd be. I have to. Curiosity is constantly killing this cat. There's a deep bassy sound happening in my ears right now. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, I guess this is just probably another loop around area if I would have gone that other way. 
Hello? Is it that thing, that fucking figure? Like a viral video from back in the day, like one of those horror videos? It's supposedly like a real guy that they had fucking... What the fuck is that? I'm sure like... Nexpo has like a, a video on it or something like that. I'll have to go through his channel and look. I think I've seen it on Nexpo's channel. Which, if you don't know who Nexpo is, which I'm sure you probably do, go look at Nexpo. He's got really cool videos. But, <clears throat> yeah, I got a feeling that that's that. And if that is that thing running around here, then that's fucked up. <laughs> Two, Jesus. Oh, god damn. Oh, uh, that's a long way down, huh? Let's see what's back here first. Holes and holes, holes and holes. Hello. I know what's gonna happen if I go back here. It's just gonna be a dead end. But my, I can't handle it. I have to. And I can't sprint, so it's gonna be a long walk. <laughs> It'll probably be the walk of shame. Hell of a swimming pool, though. Is that, that's just straight up the sun. So where the fuck am I? Oh. Hold up. Is that a fucking elevator? Ah, god damn it. It is. No. No, I don't want to be here right now. I want to go downstairs. Okay, let's see. Let's see where this fucking goes. Because, uh... Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's turn that back on, buddy. Is this just the... Is this the dead end? No. Ooh. Ooh. Because, uh... Let's play! Let's not <laughs> fuck. There's an elevator back there, but this is like Oh boy. Holy shit. Realistically, if I was this dude, I would have just gotten on the fucking elevator, but you know, uh for the sake of exploration and the game. I had to come down the dark fucking st stair stairs to the dark to the to the dark abyss. Indoor and outdoor pools closing. What are they closing for? Definitely all indoor so far. It's the name Golden Hour, man. There's that audio thing again. Oh shit. No shoes, please. Well, uh... There's like multiple fucking elevators. I'll have to go back 
on my own if there is and see. There is multiple fucking elevators, isn't there? Because this is not the one we got off of. Alright, so since this was the first elevator that I found, I'm just going to board this one and uh, get the hell up out of here. What I was saying is I don't know whether it's like, you know, there's multiple save files if it's just something that you can run through. There's got to be more than one... Uh, more than one zone, basically, right? Because, yeah, that that was an entirely different elevator, and I'm almost positive it wasn't the one that I got off of. Because I don't remember that room. No smoking. Well. Different floor. Let's see. Yeah, it makes me nervous that we haven't se seen our buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. What does that say? Carousel Ghost Train? Can I get on? I would like to get on, please. At least a little enjoyment. Oh, Carnival Ghost Train. What the fuck? <laughs> this doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh boy. Hello? That's the thing about this game is that you don't have to worry about anything jumping out at you, but damn, nothing needs to jump. I'm trying to see if I recognize any of this music, but it's kind of warped. Recognize the Ave Maria and stuff like that, you know, in, in the first one, but. hard to tell. Shit. Oh boy. Wander around in the dark and darkness long enough here. You'll wind up falling off the edge of the world. Let's see. Hello. Nothing really, just more of these rooms. More of this kind of look. Oh shit. I should crouch too soon. Let's go ahead. Oh, this is just going to be a crawl. Okay. Every time. Woof. That's what I hear. Another elevator. Already. Already another elevator. It makes me think that I miss shit. Whenever I find... When I find them so soon. Ooh, that's loud.
Okay, so I went the I went the opposite direction and I ended up back where I started. So maybe like these little zones where you find the elevators pretty quickly. Again, maybe they're just kind of like buffer zones. You know, like little transitionary zones to something different. I guess we'll find out. Ugh. Just looking for something. I'm looking for that th that fucking statue. Beep. Staring at me. <sighs> to be staring at me from the distance. Or just like standing right in front of the fucking elevator door as soon as it opens or something. Hello? Wet floors, huh? Oh boy. Hardwood floors. Nice. It's legit too. It's not a snap in linoleum either. I swear I my my eyes play tricks on me sometimes. Whenever stuff loads in. I think I see shit. This game fucks with me. I don't like the way it fucks with me. Well, let's first start by going this way here. See if this just loops me back around like everything else. Oh. Now we're in church. Our record last week, this week. Budget 620. This looks like a church. This doesn't look like a classroom. Religious studies, perhaps? Let's walk up to the pulpit. Can I play the, uh, can I tickle the ivories? I cannot. What's that say? So, piano brand, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up the electric electric bill in this place. I feel sorry for the statue if he has to pay it. Okay. Nothing, nothing of particular importance in here. Does it seem? That's fine. At least I got that out of the way. Still pretty cool room. I like all the different fucking... I do like all the different uh, rooms that you can check out. Just make sure our statue friend isn't hiding in a damn corner somewhere. Yeah, okay, can't pull the alarm. Okay. This, uh... I, yeah, I'm, I'm a stickler for this kind of thing. I have to fucking go back and forth and back and forth. I do that all the time. I swear it's like... It's definitely my... Got like some ADD going on and this game absolutely wrecks it <laughs> some nice saxophone going on there okay got the porn groove going on yeah, nice nice elevator music but I'm not in an elevator this time all right hey where we be? What is that? New balances? Nice. Toys and fun. Can I crawl through here? The hell fucking... Holy shit, I am just straight up in a mall now. 
just actually in it. There's no, uh, there's no mistaking what this is. Shell's jewelry. Pick and paws. Lindell women's and children's fashions. Next step. This is unsettling. But very cool. I like just looking at everything. the fucking music though it's like you go from some normal sounding music to this warped distorted oh Jesus can't handle <laughs> shit. This already feels much longer than... Hi. Are you recording? The light's on. Who's watching me? At Jeanette and Turner. Toys and fun. Oh boy. Yeah, this, this looks like real gr great fun. From building blocks and toy cars to fluffy bears and dolls, we at Toys at Fun have a wide variety of high quality toys. From us to you. Jesus. We're like weapons and. not fun. Food. Oh, <laughs> food, 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 drinks. Blaze Burger, Tango Tacos. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and take a peek down here, actually. And then I'll make my way back up there to the terrible room. Nice whimsical music. At least they have more than one track playing. Tech Solutions Company, computer repair and parts. Bzz. Gentlemen's clothing and accessories, Luxus. Flavors of the rainbow. Uh. Excuse me? I don't like that change. What the fuck? That is fucking insane. Oh, ice cream. Am I supposed to fucking hide from something or something? Is that why I can crawl in here? That's fucking creepy. Media play. Oh boy. That's very loud. Holy shit. Stop. Maybe that's... <laughs> Maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't be in here. Did the music kick back in in there? That was fucking weird. Store closing. All fixtures, furniture, and equipment. Yeah, so I feel like that area before I found that elevator so quickly because it is kind of like a buffering zone in between like these kinds of zones. a little transitionary spot where you can go and you're not
constantly being bombarded with these new areas like this, so you you don't really know what you're going to get next. You get more of the same, and then you get on an elevator and it loads the area. But I am curious, though, if I'd have gotten on that other elevator, would I have ended up in that same buffering transitionary zone and still ended up here? Back from the pools, or would I have gone a completely different direction? I don't know. I'm going to have to play it on my own and find out. Alright, so we'll go back up now. Yeah, the music kicked back in. Kicked back in, not kicked back in. Uh. Okay. Your ad here. Alright, so we'll go back into this terrible corridor. Maybe... Um, let's see. Is there anything down here? I didn't go this way. Shit. Ooh, wah. Stairs. Okay, so I think we're getting back. Uh, I'll probably find an elevator here pretty soon. We're back to the yellow wallpaper. Okay, I think I kind of get it. The way the zones work anyhow. Maybe. But still haven't nothing has really happened since Ooh. that's barbed wire I like those sounds can't see in there yeah nothing has really happened since uh, since the guy in the Oh shit. Hey! Back in the subway. Yeah, nothing's really happened since that ball incident. I feel like, well, I do appreciate the uh, non jump scary nature of the game, they need to add more scares in general to this one because it does seem longer than the first game and while wandering around um, these areas is cool like this is cool you know the subway trains and stuff like that wandering around the area is cool and being startled by the fucking statue thing seeing the shadow uh, so far that's all that's really happened I feel like it needs more, uh, yeah, I just feel, I feel like it needs more. Is this side open? No. I feel like it needs more going for it, uh, than just that, because if you're going to make the game longer, then it needs more moments like that, because the first one worked because it, because it wasn't all that long it was it almost was too long but you know uh, there was just enough of that for its length to kind of be like oh okay so yeah that that crazy shit happened and now you know you go to that area with the like the, the the neighborhood the Truman Show neighborhood basically and you hear that like vocal popping in that house and then you're pretty much out after that like I said unless there's just 
areas that I'm completely missing and things like that that I'm completely missing, which is entirely possible, I guess. Um, and I know that these games aren't, you know, meant to be, like, uh, survival horror or anything like that. You know, it's really reliant upon things like the ambience going on and the locations and that sense of uh, isolation and claustrophobia at the same time and um, and all that kind of fun stuff. But I, I do feel like it, it doesn't hurt to have more of those moments as well with the statue and the shadows peeking at you and this, that, and the other, you know. But that's just me. Um, but I mean, it, it is very well made. I just don't want it to become just pure walking simulator, you know what I mean? Like, okay. It's a nice furniture. I'll just like follow these like different colored lights and things like that to see where they take me. It's like it relies on that sense of paranoia as well and that sense of um, being like a lost little kid in a in a in a uh, you know in a in a supermarket. You know, you, you, it kind of feels like this whenever you're... Oh, I got a cutscene. Oh, shit. Oh, it better not be over. How are you supposed to fucking get down here without breaking your legs, my dude? Oh, shit. footsteps. Thump, thump, thump. Oh, man, my camera's fucked. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Why did it... Wait, what the fuck? Why, why is it the statue suddenly? It was like the fucking shadow in the first one. Now this goddamn... Creepy ass statue stalking you. Shit. Yeah, I guess we're probably we're probably coming towards the end. My fucking camera is all cracked. I really like it. I do like it. It's it's um it's uh it's definitely impressive what one person can do with these kinds of games. And uh, I do realize as well, like I said, that it is just one guy doing this. So, <clears throat> you know, maybe my complaints about there not being enough moments like that. It's like he has to build everything else on top of crafting those kinds of scares, you know, to kind of uh, keep you on edge. But every, you know, everything is, is, is a solo guy, solo dev, which that in and of itself is worth the 10 bucks to me. Um, and it's definitely a cool experience so far. Uh, I do like some of the areas that we've been to so far. So, all right. So picking right back up, fell through the floor, and uh, it seemed like the statue startled us a little bit, and we fell on through. I was just saying, I had just got done saying that. I don't think there's enough of those moments so far in this game, but it is a. Uh, it's still really cool. It's still really well done, and like I was saying in the in the other video, you know, for for a solo dev, you know. Uh, oh hey, Magwave. I'm pretty damn close. There's more of this uh, yellow tape. So this was like, I'd ran into this tape in the first game. So this is like, 
I'm assuming this is like some kind of route that someone's already taken from Magwave. It's got the arrows, you know, pointing in that specific direction, so... Let's see. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like a route that's already been kind of mapped. They just kind of like lay this stuff down and do their thing, maybe? Weird rumblings. Kind of map where they've been so far and where they haven't. So I'm assuming that yeah, that direction is probably just the opposite side. You go around and come up and go this way. Oh! Hey! Excuse me? This is like that gate that I went through. Hey. Ooh, shit. There's someone in here. Hello? Is anyone alive out no. there? Huh? Did he say go? Dude, I've been through some weird shit. I fell through. I got chased by a fucking. Wouldn't really say chased, but. Stalked by a uh, statue man. Knock, knock. Hmm. Oh, locked, okay. I can't believe I f found my way back to some to the facility. That looks kind of. Well, that one opened. I found my way back to this facility. Like, what the hell? What are the odds of that? Something's got to be fucking with me, right? It's too good to be true. Because there's still no one here. Okay. Cutscene. Oh shit. What the fuck? fucking way dude holy shit god damn it's over again magwave research institute fuck Dude, it leaves you wanting more, like... Every fucking time. And like I said, I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's multiple ways... To go, or if, like, the other elevators bring you somewhere different, or if... How much I missed? You saw Leo? 
That's pretty impressive, my dude. What is going on over here? Like, I can see, like, a strip of video. I'm just curious, like... So, this one was uh, more technically impressive than, than the first one. I mean, you can interact with more, you know, as far as uh, doors and lights and things like that. But I feel like the moments uh, between were lacking. And I, and I don't think there was anything quite as cool as that, uh, as that neighborhood area in this one so far. Like, I don't know, I don't know if, you know, how, how much is planned for this or how much they have, uh, you know, how much they have planned, or how much he has planned, I should say, or they, uh, just one person solo should has planned for adding on to it or anything like that. I don't know if they're just going to continue to add on to this specific version of the game because it's an early access and uh, it seems like they want to add co-op to it. And I don't know if they'll just keep building on the foundation of this or if they'll release another one at some point. But uh, so far, I mean, it's still really solid, you know, especially, like I say, for a solo developer. Still really solid uh, experience. Um... You know, like I said, again, the first one being free and this one only being nine ninety nine. That's that's not bad at all, especially um, you know, considering how much uh, kind of thought that they had put into it. But I don't know. Um, I do feel like it could have used a little bit more of those moments. I'm not saying that 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 it was bad by any means, because it was still it was still good. But the first game definitely. Uh, definitely spooked me a little bit more this one you know it was just that one really big moment pretty much I don't know um, maybe I'm just um, maybe I'm just maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little too critical but you know uh, I enjoyed it still and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go in on my own and just kind of see anything that I missed extra like you know those specific uh, elevators and things like that we'll see but uh, I'll I'll I'll, I'll record just in case there is. Maybe I can just, you know, uh, tack it on to the end of the video or something. Uh, because I thought there was a little bit... I thought there was more uh, to go, so I had completely stopped recording and, you know, started up again. There was only a few more minutes left, so... Um, I'll just cut this into one big video, but... Yeah, and like I said, if there's anything extra, then I'll, maybe I'll record it and see if uh, if I missed anything. I'll just add it to the end, but anyhow... Well, that was the Complex Expedition. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not disappointed in it, so, um, you know, worth the 10 bucks. And, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing on the channel, please leave a like and subscribe, you know, let me know what you think. Um, I was thinking of getting into to some Chilla's art, but uh, anyhow, that, that'll be for another time. Um, yeah, again, thank you for stopping by. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? <laughs> Bye.